lots of uh, lots of craziness inbound. Anyway, I'm B Car. Going to be a commentary for this evening. Looking forward to see how Gangplank turns out. Uh, Gangplank's going to be British versus INS here on Bata. Looking at British clearing the uh, insurgent cell out of Mutaha City West. They're going to be uh, uh, assaulting east to west across these bridges. Um, troops are not going to be fording the river. So mobility is uh, gives, uh, gives INS a little bit to work with here. INS main stronghold can be anywhere within the red grids as you see here on the map. And INS can have plenty of toys to be able to put up on the uh, on the base there. INS uh, FOB can be HMG tripod and fortifications, but they have some toys to play with in the mobile sense. They can SBG technical, two Dishka technicals, as well as a Lodgy for reinforcement uh, or rearming of troops. They also have a... Uh, uh, they have a Lodgy truck and a technical. Plenty of things there. A British, on the other hand, you're going to see uh, two Bulldogs in a transport truck. There is a helicopter option that can be used for transport and recon. We do have a helicopter pilot on standby. There is no trade-off for the helicopter. It's purely an option. We'll see how if uh, teams will actually use the helicopter for this op. Otherwise, uh, any th other loadouts to note, British are going to have two medium machine guns, the platoon, two FTLs per squad, standard squad other than that. INS, the same. They're going to get a raider per squad, though, on top of standard squad. Uh, and they'll have four hats and two sappers. There's a lot. Uh, I think it's two sappers could be two scouts. A lot of uh, AT assets for INS. Those bulldogs are going to be uh, they're, they're, they're the the bulldogs are not going to be the uh, the main assault force. It's going to be an infantry wave running over Mutaha here. Anyway, momentarily, we're just waiting on uh, their command to get everything in a row. Let's take a look at the map. Obviously, it's going to be a little dark because this is a night layer. Crickets and Mutaha. I'm sure they're real. Wait, what's your blood type? B minus? Hey. Looks like what we might see a more northern approach. Looking at your blood type. Which is hey. going to be bad once they cross the river here. Um, expect to see INS play a, a helicopter it. icon. Do we have a helicopter pilot? Yes, we do. J. Remick is going to be the pilot for British forces. Okay. And here we go. We're going to get a brief real quick. Is this gang? Gang something. Plank. Gang plank. Gang plank. Yeah. All right. So our objective here is we are going to be at crossing this northern bridge on the the Skullmar. We're going to do that by having boogie on the helmet mark along that trench. Putting covering fire along the north. We're gonna have D League squad on that home marker on the south, putting fire on the south. South of the squad off live is gonna insert by Hilo up north, and they're gonna secure that area. They will be the ones crossing the bridge once we put smoke down and put fire down. Hey, squad will be running the Bulldogs. You will also be putting fire down and getting across the bridge once Silas has cleared it. Once we have secured the other side of the bridge, we will be transporting Boogie Squad and possibly D League Squad to the transport heli mark across the other side of the map. We will be essentially getting in a platoon line on the arrow and pushing south through the town. What we're looking for is in the C4 and C5 grid is we are looking for the enemy insurgent hideout we're going to try and take out that hideout and then put our own little hideout there 
That was pretty rushed. But do you guys have any questions? Squad leaders will have more details. Go ahead and get in your assigned vehicles and uh, get ready for luck. Yeah, Volvo. Crickets in the game. And there we go. The British ship bounce. The helo spins and uh woo. There we go. And the helo's off. One squad uh, per vehicle here. One squad in the heli. A squad in each of the bulldogs and one squad in the transport. We're gonna jump ahead to the uh, forward bulldog here. Or, sorry, the transport truck. Custom map, no, it's Mata. We just, uh, it's, it's a different time of day. It's a different time of day. I understand it might be a little bit difficult to see. It is kind of dark, so I will try to... Oh, that vehicle took some damage on Paul. Not exactly a smooth landing here. Uh, we are witnessing the beginning steps of Operation Gangplank. The British are here to expel INS from the western side of Mataha. And we just saw a helicopter insert. Uh, everyone else is going to have to use bridges. Oh, look at this. There's a INS vehicle column that has moved to the west side of the map. They're shooting the turret. They're shooting the helicopter. Remick is already hurt bad. He turns away. Look at that. Armored discotheque. That's bad news. There's really... The only way for British to deal with that is to get out and shoot rockets at it. Wait, do British get a AT? No. British have no AT. Uh, these vehicles are going to be pretty unopposed if they can sneak up on a uh, Bulldog. Two HMG, uh, two Dish Kotechis and an SPG Techie up armored HMG and Dish Kateki are here. That's bad news. They're looking for the uh, they're looking for the Techie. They're looking for the uh, tran the, the convoy. The British are basically going to sweep Mutaha on the west here, and they're going to find this radio. Um, hasn't happened yet, but. Be prepared. It'll it'll take some time. Looks like we got a mine and a uh, IED set here, uh, just west of the northern bridge. And oh boy, these vehicles are gonna have a field day over here. The bulldogs actually pulled up short, and they took a turn. Yeah, XL, thanks for uh, watching, man. We do streams for pretty much every operation. If it's not a commentary uh, field stream, it's a point of view stream, or it's a multicam stream where we have a bunch of different points of view. And it looks like these guys, uh, these INS guys, just gonna sit here. Interesting. We'll have to keep an eye on the map to see where they go next. Bulldogs taking their time. They could be uh, looking for these bulldogs. The Bulldogs are really the only thing that can really mess up these vehicles. Up Armored Techie, Up Armored SPG Techie is pretty rough. Meanwhile, Brits are crossing the, uh, the bridge here. Uh, the Brits are crossing the bridge. The Brits are crossing the bridge. As stated in the operation document, uh, where the infantry are not allowed to use the water. The Brits are crossing the bridge. This is a bridge. Th that, that's a bridge. The bridge is on the ground here. 
Not that it really matters. They're not getting engaged on the bridge. Meanwhile, there's an HMG firing. Don't go on the roof. Don't go on the roof. Go on the roof. Okay, come on, come on down here. Come on, get down. Yep. Getting down. Man, I don't know. Right. Is there a lip or? They were firing at the roof here. British showing their position really early to the INS forces. Roger. Don't say anything. There's a building in the way here. Oh, that's. Well, technically, they're supposed to cross that bridge. They're not supposed to use that water. This is the bridge there's, they need to cross on the bridge. They have to cross this bridge. But still, it's a bridge. You're supposed to cross on the bridge. Come on, now. Now, a lot of the platoon is, uh, is on foot here. Two squads worth. Plus command. We're gonna go ahead and grab, uh... Comms. And see what command is talking about right now. You see the helo... In the sky. River's not deep. Yeah, the river's not deep, but we have, uh... For this operation, they're required to use the bridges. Vehicle... One is staged and ready to initiate our cross. Infantry are First not allowed to use the... The, uh... Got you. As we three are what was that? Now. Something just blew up. I think they... Hold on, something just blew up. Are these guys was, shooting? Who's shooting just now? That was Tishka. Do we have Dishka's behind us? Or where did that come from? Something just got hit. It sounded like it was south of the tube somewhere. I think they popped an SBG round and they missed? Okay, so effectively where the smokes go. Heli. Yeah, heli's down. Wait, the heli's down. Oh, no. Alright, make sure we're keeping uh, gun silence. So well, there one. goes the helicopter. Go uh, so this is definitely right going to be a uh, infantry of operation. Go I guess right uh, the other HMG. Other side south of the bridge. If that makes sense. So each was it an HMG? Or one of us will put a yeah, they have an down. HMG here uh, behind this rally flag. Does that, okay, say that one more time. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Silas, you're gonna put a smoke just oh, south. Oh, Wolfgang's bridge. commanding. I thought Silas was commanding. I'm confused. Dang right on it. Is this a river or it's not that'll, that'll give you cover when you get onto the boogie. You're gonna put smoke just on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, so we're tap. All right. So INS are obviously wait, lying wait. in wait, waiting for the infantry to like come across. Only a few people have eyes on the bridge right wait. now. It's a, it's a call. Head. It's an artillery smoke. Copy. Where does it go? It's gonna be Delta four nine five on the other side of the bridge. Flicker, okay, an RPK. Well, he had an RPK set up here on the bridge. So they don't get lit up from the south. Roger. Are all guns in? Place? Hey, command break. My bulldogs to the east have eyes on techies. Oh, Over. the techies. Ada can gets blown up. They lost the initiative there. So one techie down. Oh no! Well, nice try, techies, but you messed up. Both bulldogs get eyes on one of the other technicals. This was an up armored techie. Uh, the remaining technical is hiding. This is the up armored HMG. So the up armored. Uh, SBG Techie and the regular technical are down. And looks like about a fire team plus size element just got wiped here. Sasa gets out of the up armored uh, SBG technical. And here we go. We're getting uh, smokes. As British begin to uh, make their move. Shortly, we'll see everyone crossing the bridge here. And, oh, and the smokes are off point. The smokes are uh, south of the road. That's bad news because 
Look at where all the INS are. Yeah, are the British yeah. just gonna start clearing buildings right across the river? There's also the IED and the mine here to worry about. If the IED's down here and the British decide to go into this field, that's bad news, but I don't think it's gonna be a, um... I don't think that's really gonna happen. I wonder how many of that IED's gonna get. Here comes the smoke artillery barrage. Oh, maybe not a barrage, just six rounds. And here we go. Good luck, Silas. Silas has already been hit. But one squad makes it across, and they're gonna jump the, uh... They're gonna jump the side of the bridge here and get on land. Silas has been shot again. He's bleeding out pretty badly. But I think he's got a medic there with him. And the British start moving into buildings to start clearing it out. The IED is blown. Appears that no one was damaged, no one was hurt from it. And they're gonna get in the position here. Burtonizer and Phoenix are in the building next door. This is a sweet little hole right here. Guardian's gotta watch out. They start putting suppression down. Keep advancing, MG, keep it up. Pretty, uh, pretty crazy fire in there. It just goes sick. What? Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, upstairs, second level. British rifles, they all have the bipods on them, so... Oh, shit. Burton guys are trying to stop Royal Milkman from shooting through the hole. Oh, ooh, a grenade. Uh, not gonna get anyone. I got it, I got it. Oh, the IED blew up the mine. Fucking raider nearby. I'm at the bottom of the blue. I'm at the bottom of the blue. Just don't. Yeah, sorry, we're in close contact. Phoenix is watching the back door here. Next building to the Oh, it turns away white it turns away right when Steve O. Crosses in. Okay. Fluff's in, uh, is, uh, Fluff's also down here as well, watching the rear security. Does Phoenix see any of these guys? Steve-O just runs back up. He is a squad lead, so Phoenix has to sort of pick his battles here. The moment he engages, he's basically giving himself up. Looks like we're getting some vehicles to start moving. I hear some, uh, engines on over there, west, uh, the east side of the bridge, and, uh, we're going to be seeing more British coming across the river right now. Here we go. No mines. Let's keep chasing. Now that mine could still be there. Oh, overshot RPG. Bartok missed a moving target. Bartok had a hat too and he overcompensated. He either overcompensated or didn't think it was going to move that fast. Bartok missed. Story of the day. Forget what you heard. Bartok missed a shot. And uh, there we go. Those guys are going somewhere. Meanwhile, still two squads yet to cross over to the west side of the map. Burtonizer and Phoenix are still holding this position. And they're just holding corners. Burtonizer's holding the back door. Phoenix is still on this back porch. You see Silas, can he shoot him? Not enough clearance for his rifle. Does he have a grenade? Man, wouldn't that be great? Oh, and how did Daniel and Jake Runk get in there? Oh, I guess it's a balcony. They can't use the balcony. Okay. Phoenix is gonna find another way to go. Burton Isaac threw his grenade. Somebody try a grenade. Fuck. Grenade distance. I'm getting down. Right now, five kills British, one kill INS. Go ahead and load up. Where away? 
Most of those kills from British coming from that uh, technical con the technical ambush that went poorly. Phoenix puts a bullet into uh, J Crunk. And is Sergeant Jackson going to peek the balcony here? Yeah, he's like right stuff. here. He's on this building. It's safer. Uh, here, here, here. Come, come to me. Come. This is a safe spot. So I guess technically two squads made it across. I must have missed them. The remaining element here, a hat. There's still a bulldog that hasn't crossed the river yet. If they can chase it. He's on that rooftop. If they could chase down this bulldog, this is about a fire team plus on this bulldog right now. They have to shoot. They need to act in concert with this hat. Sec has the hat back here. The remaining people in the uh, transport, and there's a building in the way. That's unfortunate. They have no idea, and here goes the bulldog. It's moving off. Is Sec gonna try to shoot? Nope, I think he missed his opportunity. <clears throat> and that's unfortunate. There's just a fire team on the uh, security here with Wolfgang. But our rocket gets put in the side of the bulldog. Minimal damage. Crazy because, uh... Oh, there's another rocket. Put us in the back and it's tracked the bulldog. Bartok making up for the miss earlier. Flicker gets killed in response. Oh, and another miss! How much ammo does Bartok have left? Is it enough? Probably not. Bartok getting shot at trying to peek at this, and I think he's uh, put his tube away. Yeah, he's out of ammo. So he's going to try to fall back and rearm. Phoenix must have died in the confusion here, because I don't see him. Burtonizer's still living in this compound. Careful, it might be a dude. And Hedda knows there's so someone behind him. Burtonizer's the... still the holding the front door. They're not even trying to clear everything the here. Nice. nice shot there from Jackson, takes down Surge 11. But Pockets takes down Chase, and Mojo comes in to clean it up. Mojo almost getting friendly fired. Rooftop, enemy down on the roof. Yeah, you're down. And that element that was in the techies have started engaging the rear guard here. Including the, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're coming down, we're coming down. Including the technical JKR and that, uh, Dishka. That's bad news. The Brits gotta move. They got nothing to fight it with. Can they repair the tracks? Yeah. They should be able to repair the tracks on the, uh, Bulldog. Yeah, there's also infantry. If they have inju if they have crewmen. Do they have crewmen? Alright, let's go. Let's get across. Let's get across. Let's get across. Let's get across. Nope. They can't repair anything. No crewmen, no engineers. Because the Bulldogs don't require crewmen. <clears throat> so, the Bulldog is out. So, Brits down 2 1. Bulldog operational. Yeah, I got contact to my west southwest. Yeah, squeeze them, what do the Brits have? Lats hats? Um, they're pushing south. Their intel indicated they weren't uh, gonna be yeah, fighting uh, uh, enemy uh, armor. Yeah, he's but I guess they didn't account for technicals and uh, civilian no, transport. Cop that. I'll... Give me a second. Brits trying to figure out their yeah, next move here. The they have pushed into north. the uh, the city itself. Yeah, the squad is actually pushing really close, and Duplex just gets lit up by one. Nashville and Bark on a uh, on a rooftop here have a great position and kill one. They start leveling uh, the scoreboard here, but it's still actually it's even 10-10. Ten kills to ten. Make that eleven kills to ten as Storm dies. The Brits are actually pushing past Burtonizer. Burtonizer has a chance to get a lot of kills here, and I think he realizes his time to shine is now as the Bulldog rolls past his building. 
Bulldog's actually coming back out. Yeah, driver, no. Um, there's no crew kits for British. And Frost gets lit up by the, uh, Bulldog, I think. Bartok is still alive, but he's starting to become an annoyance for the remaining British that are still north side of the area. I guess he's out of rockets and he's pretty much done for. Bert and I are starting to make some problems here. And there's one right here, I killed him. And Frenzy takes him out. Good job. Yeah, I killed him. Nice. Gotcha. British have some, kind of sort of, they need to reorganize and push now, but... Yeah, they tried flanking us from, um... You know, it's... Shut that down. Technical is coming in north of one. Oh, technical. To continue west. Hello. Just driving okay, in the field? This has got a fire team, and the bulldog is right next to it. This is not going to end well. No, it hurt it. It's starting to back up. Say technical setup. The techie is backing the heck up. The sex still have a if sex still has a rocket. Ooh, well that gunner's dead. We killed the gunner. Driver still up. It's armored field. And the bulldog finds it, puts a few rounds in the rear end of it, but the technical looks like it's gonna get away. That vehicle's hat is still up. Oh, and looks like uh, Barrington gets on the gun. No, that's Sasa on the gun. Gotcha. One, what? Follow, uh, two, follow me. Brits are still making progress, but they haven't really hit another line yet. They're still flirting with the northern defenses of the FOB. And they're way north of the radio. British aren't even close yet, and there's a long way to go. Looks like the vehicle might be trying to rejoin the defense here. It's going to run past Jive. Yep, it's going to take this road, go on past Jive here. Jive is going to get a final report on where it goes. Ooh, Lex Ryan deploys AR and tries to put some rounds into the gunner. I don't know if it's effective, but uh, the vehicle keeps on going. One's going to swing around the west side at three and push south from there. Do it. Copy, good move. What's uh, made up of two and four is gonna... Right now, 13 kills British, 13 INS. It's still even... Oh, hey, Bartok's still alive. Guess he's trying to find a way to get out of his compound. He just kind of can't. Squad bounding. Alright, yeah, come in during the entire engagement. I lost one. And he was to the uh, District of Tech East across the river. What's Got he gonna do? Three strong, so you'll have them with you. And that makes up about... Uh, How many Northern Bridge IED kill? Zero. And, well, I guess you did get one kill. You destroyed your own mine. Hey, uh, you want to let take point? So. Yeah. Northern so IED basically three. made Northern Bridge defense pretty rough. I'm pretty strong, but I've got about... ID was too close to the uh too close to the mine north north no but hello they know where we are putting some rounds out towards boogie gets boogie to this place and jive is also being hit or shot at as well and jive comes off that roof off those stairs Wait, did Lex just get hit? No. People just shooting now. Lots of Brits in the open. They're starting to make their move. They gotta they gotta hop down to the next area and it's just there's these wide open spaces. It's kinda rough for them to you kinda sorta of have to play checkers with the way that this area is loaded up. You gotta go diagonally yeah, from running, compound you know, just have your guys post, uh, to compound to instead of just running straight up. If we're not pushing because these uh, wide open fields are going to be a problem, even though there's this, you know, this place in the way. Alright, one's going to start progressing south. Uh, the Brits have, I think, one more artillery smoke mission in the wings. 
But I think they're going to hold it until they get closer. Work together to advance south. And there's still a long way to go. Brits are still, um, what's this distance here? 500 meters away? Silas got you well through the western side, so follow him. Bartok is actually, is Bartok still alive here? Bartok is still alive. In that case, we frog. Boogie, just go around west of him. Command is actually right here by himself. If Bartok decides to start watching this uh, hole, but I think he's still crawling to try to catch up. He's trailing the British, but of course he's by himself. He's got to make a uh, he's got to make the play worth it. Hey, uh, Revy Brit's and starting to reorganize into squads. That building there. Got infantry on that building. Looks like the armor ticky was abandoned. Yeah, it looks like the armor ticky was abandoned in town and they dismounted. Bartok making a play. He's moved into the adjacent compound. Yeah, they see you. Bartok's on a roof. Is he gonna shoot uh, Ronan right, hey, back Julie, the head? Can you go east? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of these eastern buildings? And just look towards the east. Just give me uh, like a landmark, a visual landmark. landmark, like left construction tower. Ashby was told to follow somebody, so he went and just did it. So I was telling him something else, but he refused my word. Okay. Hey, we all good? I wonder what Bartok's thinking right now. And stationary bulldog. Anyone gonna try to take a shot at it? Man, this would be a great time for one of those hats to show up and just wreck this guy's day. Do you know where it came from, Nate? British being pretty greedy with this bulldog placement. And here comes Bartok. Bartok's trying to shoot the gunner out of the thing, and he's missed. Infantry behind us. One, I'm moving in on. He shot the rail. He shot the railing. Nate's uh, still got a pretty good position. I wonder if he killed any. Maybe he did kill someone. He's. I guess he's hit nasty Nate. I guess he did hit the. Uh, he hit the uh, gunner there, but he didn't kill. Uh oh! I'm someone down. just got shot. I think that was the Charlie four one four. I'm not sure where. They're on the roof here. Sasa trying to take some shots. And he gets, uh... Where? What? Yeah, we need... There, no, the TV. Oh, we need one straight up. Oh, I see what you're talking about. I don't know how to get closer. Fuck it, I'm hopping this. No, oh, no, 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 no. Sergeant Jackson I'm leading this fire team by example. Charlie Four. They think this is the objective building. Oh no! British have the wrong idea. Wild idea from Squad Three over here. We're gonna try to cross the MSR. Bartok's still alive. Isn't that funny? Got to be careful doing that. Bartok's run away. He has evaded the British who are looking for him. Oh, he's got a rocket. Does he have frag or what is this? Okay, to keep doing with the guys uh, to the north. Once you feel yeah, that it's they frag. Have backed off, then uh, Bartok's loaded for frag. Wolf can't stop moving. Uh, he wants to get an infantry kill with it. Nah, uh, he thinks better of it. Takes his AK back out. You said you're gonna get. Bartok's probably kicking himself. He wished he hadn't missed any of those shots earlier. But above that, I bet you he's wishing that uh, he could just get to. Uh, Get to a rearm position. Brits tried to move in front of the building, and now they're moving in it. They're trying to get upstairs, and there's a staircase right here where Sasa is waiting for the person to uh, make the roof play. 
There's no other access to this roof, right? Quitter. Yeah, it's just oh, yeah. these stairs, oh, so... Well, that was a good breach, if only someone was there. Yeah, he might be one more above. Take it slow. Be advised, we have, uh, contacts oh, let's just watch this. Five, seven, nine. Sasa is and watching and the corner the here on the top the floor. So give everyone, like, a moving, one to two moving, meter moving. space. Alright, here, Pete. I'm gonna stop. Is Sasa trying to shoot uh, something? Charlie, five, seven, right. Yep, I'm over here to the right. Bog talk fire a rocket. Oh wait, there's someone else. Barrington. He's down, he's down, he's down, he's down. Big oof. I didn't know Barrington was still <laughs> in the building there. You jeez. Sasa's still here. Uh Bartok looks like he may have gotten a kill up here and Bartok is running away. He must have nothing else. And the Brits are trying to uh, anticipate some movement here. Sasa kills Daniel on the roof. What's Jake Crunk gonna do? Trade with Sasa. And now that everyone's on the roof, everyone starts getting lit up by the everyone on, other people in, on the other roofs. Boogie's uh. Pushed down pretty far south. Boogie's now the first forward uh, British element here. I'm breaking up. It's got Prophet Bahamut yeah, and Silent nice uh, suppressed. Got Lex oh, Ryan with that. with them, and uh, they're trying to make some progress here. Close, but though. Bahamut's got himself a decent position. Lots of cover. Another rocket is shot. The bulldog is still up. So it looks like may have been a casualty here on top of the roof next to Slev. That might have been another frag. Bartok is. Positive... I have positive ID on sandbag and razor wire. And the dis the uh. British are gonna throw everything at this building, but it's not the objective. The objective is here. Pretty is no, as not even like defended right now, but they don't know that. Lex goes down. Silent and Bahamut get him kill. It just seems weird to me. I don't know. Lots of doubt being raised about the validity of this being the objective they building. Uh, 19 kills for British to 23 for INS. INS still winning these I'm trades. Not sure. I think that might be a buddy team, winning the defense. My, uh, my infantry. My only infantry left is uh, pinned. Don't want to leave him behind. If you if you discount the uh, the bulldog crew, uh, I only have one other guy and myself. All right, try to load up those guys in the bulldog and push down to us. Down the alleyway. Copy. So, if that's yeah, you can push north Bartok, down the alley. let's see. Check the Bartok on four. And then sweep around. Uh, most kills on his team, actually. With four. At least most kills that's still alive. And the most kills on his Josh, team. How many you have up? Three effective. Okay. Silas got on the roof. That's That was a mistake. Steve-O gets lit up. Right, and we're Silas we're and we're Milkman we're come back down. The INS on this roof, it's kind of a uh, difficult proposition. A rocket gets shot. I missed where that went. They must have. They must have tried to shoot Slev because he just bandaged up again. Guess that's his second bandage. And you can see Partok here, taking the long way back home. Way out of position, but what are you gonna do? And the Bulldogs remand. Looks like they're gonna try to move the Bulldog out and do something with it. Uh, hat units that have ammo right now. I guess Groot and Pootie Ting. Of course, just because you have the vehicle doesn't mean you're safe using it. The gunner can just very easily be uh, shot out. 
I say very easily, but it's uh, more likely that go, it'll go, happen go, okay, from go. the side. And there is a vehicle mine across the road here. 18 mine, Charlie 599. The obvious route that the Bulldog might take to push up. Meanwhile, British making some moves here. Dork just got shot. As, uh... British still making a hold on these, uh, buildings right here. Groot is gonna get a point-blank shot on this thing. He's already got AT out on it. Oh, it's actually bypassing him. But it stopped. He's gonna have to unload that rocket. Get a better position to shoot this, uh, Bulldog. Bulldog still has engines on, and it's gonna move west here. Is it gonna turn south down this road? It is. It's probably a good move, because no mine here. I still hit this guy, but I imagine it's probably gonna swing out this way. Bartok has actually moved. He's almost back to his friendly lines. He's got across the road here. And I think, uh, Merle Milkman and Silas don't have a, don't have a solution on him. Uh, we do, thank you. We're just picking guys up. Alright, how many do you think's on point? Spot side. Alright, alright, thank you. Another one on this fucking road. Another spot side. Shots being taken here. And looks like Pootyting got himself a, uh, yeah, Bulldog. Might have been three in the Bulldog when that happened. I don't know exactly who was doing. By myself. No, cross the road. Yeah, there's an AR to myself. Well, that's gonna tip the scales in INS favor significantly, and okay. uh, I think that might really seal the match, unless British shoot out INS for the rest of the round. Ines probably have a better chance to win close encounters. I think they're looking for Groot here. Don't even sit bipod, but look 296 and just crouch and try to... Copy that real day. quick. Yep, you're good. Yeah, Hayden, Wolfgang, you're sandwiching this guy. Uh, is he in between us? Is that building? The building just yep. north of Wolfgang, the red and blue one? Some suppression there, and uh, Brit's gonna go down to hide. Copy. Wait, where are this guy's chap is still up? He's getting closer. He just says a scorpion. Brute's trying to get out of this building. Looks like he might make it. They're on rooftops holding angles. We can run across and get raise hell on the objective. If we're able to fire down on it, we'll do it so you can get across safely. And Bartok makes it back All to right, our friendlies. We're gonna and we're gonna go now while we get the no, uh, no new Not ammo, dead. but he's got frag out we're now that he doesn't need his heat anymore. We believe it is. Frag would be good to have. Seven. Okay, of course. Why wouldn't they put it there? And of course, remember the radio is here in this building, not at the fortified structure on the road. Hey, Dad, come around. Wolfgang, come around to me. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Let's do it. Yeah, we're just gonna. Whoa. We're just gonna. That wait. was from ejected building. Rocket shot on friendlies. That's coming from south. Yeah, that's RPG uh, came from the south. HD. Are you sure you came from a tech building? Wolfgang, they're northeast of us. Close. Right, this guy's chap as a uh, wounded Revy here. Let's take a look and see what we can yeah, find. Yeah, that might be worth it. You said they're, they're northeast? Northeast? Shoot, like my right class on the other Copy, yeah, I'm just gonna say fuck it, I'm going. Rather, this guy's chap has head a closing in from behind, but he's sort of stuck in this corner. I Map is pretty hard for an op. Sure it's, you know, it, there's a lot of attrition here. Oh, here we go. Revy runs up on him. 
And Scottish gets a kill anyway. Man, What's he gonna do? He's gonna bandage. And he's gonna get uh, the kill on Scottish, but Shadow goes down to another lap. It's hard because the Brits... They just don't have the manpower to effectively take it. Like, obviously, you can turtle up pretty hard here as, uh, as INS. Between the sandbags is still up. Okay. Well, what can you really do? You can hide inside buildings. Oh, Mortars right can't penetrate the first floor buildings in the game. In the right, Some guys. charges won't be able to reach the top floors of people in the game. Even the engineer, like satchel charges, probably wouldn't them, touch them. Um, without artillery strikes, I think uh, I think it, British just have to win these fights. And that's not an easy thing to do when you're outnumbered, even at this point. 23 for British to 31 for INS. We're coming down to less than a squad for British forces. But Silas and Milkman have uh, magically made it on the roof. Too bad they can't jump this. No, there's some other guys left in command comms. But we're, we're at... Not much they can do. We're going to be allowed to jump this. Yeah, Silas, you know better. There's no way. You got a grenade? I do have a grenade. How great it would be if they could throw the grenade up on the uh, roof here. You Milkman's wanna... gonna give it a shot, I guess. You wanna time him? We gotta get him deep past that uh, railing. Past... They're yeah. just south of me. Alright. Ready? There's a chance these could work. Two, one, set it. Here we go, Silas. Uh, see where these fracks land. Huh? Oh, good on the south side, good. On, it was really good, but I don't think it killed anyone. Just three on the roof here for INS. Alright, let's move. Let's go fucking kill that asshole. Raph and Silent are still living here. And uh, young Savage of Putin gets spot uh, Silas. I think that's below the dish. They could see that you could see the dish get from here. It's not manned, obviously. I'll lay down some cover if you want to go down. Uh, Brits yeah, are wrapping it. around. They've moved south of the road. Go. Subtraction here as Silas makes his move. They're gonna move bound. They're gonna bound uh, floor to floor here and just keep putting suppression on this uh, position. Now they gotta figure out what to do next. That's the big question. Next match, my plane. No, I'm uh, I'm spectating next match. We'll be watching the other. We'll switch teams here, and the INS are gonna have a chance to play as British in round two. Wolfgang and Oddball with uh, Bartok in tow. Bartok is, uh, actually it's 2v1 here. Command. No, it's 3v1. Wolf, our uh, Liberals here. Dash, use command comms. Hey, that, is your, do you have enough health that your stamina recharges? Or are you, you like so in, injured that you don't- Looks like we're down to five stamina. Brits. Oh, no, no, I, I have stamina. Okay. And Wolfgang is pretty much stuck here. And there we go, Bartok cleans it up. Roof to roof. Down to four. Dash B and Hedda have actually made progress towards the radio, but I don't think they'll actually get the radio position. Unless they were told the radio position, I don't think they really know. They're falling back though. Nashville shooting from behind now. So am I. Edda throws a grenade. Of us too. Uh, it's on the right track. I say fight and get this over with. A little short. One's still alive. Hey, one, how you doing over there, buddy? Trying to ambush the dudes, trying to ambush us. Still alive and capable. Okay, Kane and I are surrounded. But that's okay. 
could end this now? Or I could go on a large flank. Silent right? doesn't see these guys. He's hiding inside that structure. You do whatever you think is a good idea. On the no, roof. He took a look. To the right. He, took, he saw it and right. Silas saw him. It's on the left side. It was an SL. Yep. So that's the... That's the INS commander. Just got spotted by Silas. He has no idea we're here. Yeah, the, I think so. Two, one, Blue, six, five. Yellow, red, brick. Yeah, yeah, there is. Fuck, I'm in. Silent knows he's got at least one guy looking at him. Yeah, I got on the street. Fuck. Meanwhile, Dashby dies to oddball Bartok uh, one-two punch. Are you telling me I can dodge bullets? Well, Silent can. Today. Nice timing. So the Brits, I guess for the, the way that the Brits pushed here, they just didn't have enough men. They didn't have enough men and they took some unnecessary risks <clears throat> to clear some of the structures here. I need a breather. Then again, they don't know. Sorry, Dodge. So they just have to, they just have to. Sorry, Dodge. Yeah. All right. They just have to do what they can. Meanwhile, Silas and uh, Boyle Milkman are about to get destroyed by Silent through the, I don't the know window if here. Off those stairs. The answer is yes. I wish not. And here we go. One. And Silent gets a gift of Milkman whiffing a bunch of shots. And Silent gets two. I could turn them off, but I could turn off. It turns off all the markers. I can't turn off Spectator Cane specifically. I wish. I wish I could. Uh, but now we're just gonna follow Hedda here. And Hedda is the last British alive. The last Brit alive. He's gonna try to- is he really gonna try to make this, uh, approach here? I guess so. Makes it across. He's getting closer to the objective building. Not quite sure who's close here, but the closer he gets to the radio, more likelihood it's going to get cut down by crossfire. INF has set up some pretty good positions here. Although there is no one between him and the objective, and he can take this back, but he doesn't. But he could still do it. Raf and Tai Tai are uh, on the top floor here, and I think if Hedda makes any move towards the stair, I think Raf hears him. But if Hedda wraps around this building, I think, uh... Seneca looking out the window? No, Seneca's looking out the backside. Hedda moves past! Raph's probably, probably seen him. Potentially. And, uh, Seneca turns around and shoots Hedda in the face. And that's gonna do it for round one. GG is called. We get a score of 36 kills to 26. And, uh... A rough way to end the round. Brits with the, uh... Significant loss there. Militia, or INS with the... A pretty strong win. 10 kills up. Pretty strong win there for INS. Anyway, we are going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with round two of Operation Gangplank. Once again, Jay Rimmick, our uh, helicopter pilot. 
lifting off and has departed station. Nice low approach here. Getting the squad to the bridge is kind of a, a, it's an idea. This is round two. Oh, and the techies are deploying south first. That's really smart there. The techies have stopped. Oh, if they start shooting at this helicopter, that would be very bad. And a little bit of a flare as the helicopter comes into land in the middle of the field. And players are dismounting. Commander. Looks like two... Two technicals have come down here. That's that's a good ROE right there. So one squad plus command gets dropped forward. And it looks like we've got trying to squatch glass it. Couple bulldogs coming in. HML, what's going on, man? Wait a minute. The bulldog's gonna be here like before we even get here. I can, so let's keep moving. It's the, the main river. Okay. Couple things have changed. Uh, couple things have changed, HML. Okay, bulldog probably want to stay around there to make class. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on here. Mining this place, Thin Bones of Modern Death, Modern Death Supervising, has decided the mine placement is good. Are they going to do the dumb thing and put the IED directly next to the mine? Are they going to do it? The answer is yes. Command, you want one to start moving to the southern. But it looks like they, oh, yep. and here we go. Disco fire, is, not Disco fire is lighting up the halo. Yeah. Got to get out of there. He's turning towards the other Dishkas. This is just going to draw more attention to the south. The SPG Techies now joined in the southern defense here. All the technicals are south for British. They are wasting SPG ammo on the helicopter. Oh no, maybe that was just Macho Man. He just got out and shot a rocket at it. They are just going to town on it. If we gotta go quick, well, there Helicopter are, has been significantly well, damaged. It's bugging out. All three tentacles and only one squad to defend. And here comes okay, just fly around for the Brits. They're making their way to line up on the... On the... Uh, on the shoreline. Of course, remember, Brits, uh, the infantry have to cross this bridge. There's no other way, no other way across other than this bridge for the uh, British. Whoa, Pony's gonna roll with it? Let's see how far he gets. Halfway across the bridge, no one sees him. Nobody sees him. Pony jumps off the bridge and he immediately goes prone. It's it's perfectly safe. Wait, how are, how's the mines? We have my perfectly we unsafe. The Phoenix just to get across. Yeah, be that. Pony and Brahman make it across. Where's everyone else? Here comes Nuclear we, we Potato. Oh, he's gonna throw smoke. Bridge. The ruse is over. Okay, I'm gonna drop what about passion? Rounds coming in from the disco. Oh. Oh fuck. Crawl, crawl south now. Copy, that was a miss. Top of that. Uh, Macho Holy Man shit. probably killed a teammate by backblast from the SPG gun. Uh, oof. Or something. How did that guy die? There was a TK. 
We're gonna ignore it. Rounds coming in, and the Brits are Brits are kind of screwed now. Now we're just seeing all the smokes come in. All the SP, all the <laughs> the British have kind of screwed this up, but the vehicles are moving off. The Bulldogs able to put some rounds down range. Ronan gets killed. Nasty Nate has the ditches to transport, or ditches of technical rather. Macho Man trying to get that other uh, technical out of there. The SPG, here comes the smoke. And it looks like they're gonna fall back here. So we got the IED here and the mine up the bridge. Ballista, or the INS are falling back. That's gonna give uh, the British the window they need to cross this bridge. Thin, was that a grenade? Oh, they're throwing more smokes. They're throwing all of their smokes on this initial push across. Pony and Brahamid are just pushing this like absolute mad lads. They're gonna get up on this uh, roof here. Can they see the mine in the darkness? I think I saw a guy stand up, uh, 274. Yep, yeah, I don't know. Two, two, two. They see the disc technical. Thinbone's trying to jump on it? What is he trying to do? Why not just get in the vehicle like a normal person? So Pony's gonna call that up the chain of command. Should we, should we open? And here comes more smoke missions. I believe that was uh, all three of them been used already. So the Brits are now going to cross the river. Here comes the Bulldogs. Now there is a mine. There is a mine on the road. There is a sandbag here that's going to be uh, questionable. The, these Bulldogs might just... They blow the ID early. And the Bulldog turns off the road. The mine is right in front of the camera here on the road. I don't think it would destroy a Bulldog, but it might do some severe damage. The second Bulldog is off. So it looks like the mine not going to be a real thing. What you gonna do? Prepare to go through the second half. Why is Julius he Felix still here? Range. Is he? Does he think he's stuck? Keep it for now. He is we, moving. We he's kind of. I guess he felt first. like he was his position was overrun. But so keep it for now until we get closer. We might need to get inside. Your discretion if you want to use it as moving cover or not. The British are moving quickly away from him and one but against no, everyone else. Kind of a rough proposition. Meanwhile, the ambush squad have moved up. They're taking position in the uh, the buildings right here. The SPG is actually looking for targets. Macho Man is kind of a sick position here. He can barely see through the trees. So if the warriors come off the road in the fields to his south... Could be a uh, beneficial location, but it looks like he's got called off. Remick is uh, getting shot at again? Question mark? Or is he dead? I don't see the helicopter on anymore, so maybe he's down. Uh-oh! Julius Felix gets two! The guy that was left behind gets a couple kills. I don't Rap gets him though.
And there is a uh, INS squad moving behind. That's kind of crazy. Silas has got a squad moving behind with a hat and a, uh, and a raider. And an AR. This could be pretty effective here and Silent just, just chilling. And here we go. Okay. We'll take a look at this position here. The Dishka anticipating movement on the We're far west up. side of the map. Slev is trying to I talk Nasty Nate on target, I think. From this position, I don't know if it's going to be extremely uh, useful. Doesn't appear to be anything to shoot from here. Maybe here, though. I don't think they're that close. Yeah, they're behind that building. Uh, I think they might, they might keep moving behind that building. At least I would think so. I don't know. The squad lead's running right up to it. Adukin. Anakin Drawing in the open. Maybe flanking. Does the... Oh. Yep. Does the... Dishka see it? I don't does, know. Lose their well, aside from being moving cover. Wait. Security. Oh, the disc techie looks like he's uh bugging out here. Here, I'm gonna come to your right so I can pipe on this wall if we have to. Hey, from the wall. And uh, he's upsetting Rimic to you. He's gonna British be moving up. The, uh, the Dishkoteki is, uh... Falling all the way back to the main highway now. British continuing to play their, make their push up, uh, they're starting to get to the edge of the city now. The first unit starting to, uh... Go ahead and grab positions on the edge of the city. Are they gonna slow to a crawl and check all of these buildings? Good cover for whole squad. That's the big question here. Let me get Charlie on me. And uh Raf gonna lead a fire team in, I think. One more coming, hold on. One more coming, Avram. Talk kinda fast there. I know. Can I see you? And here we go. I'm gonna go up on top of the building. Pretty sound tactics for clearing a uh, building here. Watching north. And shots. Ines in the north. Looks like Thin Bones and Dragon in the war here. Building north. Copy, copy, copy. Ooh, the closest? How about the second closest? Pretty ballsy attempt to try to like shoot from all the way back there, but what are you gonna do? I just got to make this work. Bulldogs are, uh, one bulldog with the main force, one bulldog off, and the SPG is actually trying to line up a shot on this second bulldog over here in the west. Back of Joe is soloing the bulldog. I think this Bulldog may be out of ammo. He's loaded rounds. Dorf thinks this is a Dishka? He's trying to flank it. I thought that's what I heard. Yeah. 
And the technical just gonna boat out in the open and uh... Brits are gonna know the technical has fallen back. Armor Dishka loses a gunner. Nasty Nate goes down. And they have lost a, uh, a tentacle here. You can't, uh, you can't post up in position against Brits. They all have bi they all have bipods, man. Nashville just gonna take some tires out and dump a belt into the engine block of this, uh, truck here. Significant defense that the British are about to run into. It's about a squad in front of them here. There's another fire team plus on the point itself. Tactical is disabled. Speaking of uh, on the point itself, there we go. The armor disc or the SVG? We can see the hourglass here representing the radio position. It's on the roof. That's pretty cool. A very wide open space that can be watched from several different directions in a uh, SPG shot. IED a little early. I don't think it killed. I don't think the IED killed anyone. As the British make this real big push in here, there's a squad behind them. It's Silas has come across the river and is close behind. Four kills Brits, two kills INS. That's going to change very soon here. The Brits are sandwiched. Three squads are sandwiched. They don't even know it yet. Silas is still closing. The Brits are still moving up north. And that's also changed now. As Tactical Tater and Silas have both been hit. Silas is dead. And uh, big whoop. There goes the INS flank. Uh, Silas freaking died. Uh, wow, that's uh, unfortunate. RPG goes out and a miss on a bulldog. That's a lap. That you gotta hit those, and it's a stationary target to boot. That it's gonna peak these guys again. Bartok wants to kill. Jake Crump dodging bullets. We got a second Neo in the server, and it's J Crunk. Almost gets a shot lined up on the Bulldog, but ends up uh, eating a bunch of shrapnel that's come off the side of the wall there. Yeah, I'm good. One is engaged in contact enemy. Brits are moving into adjacent buildings, and it now is becoming building to building fighting over here on the oh, east. We got a fire team from RAF. Out east, watch out. Fire team from RAF Go. engaging a fire team across the uh, way eight. here. Ooh, grenade. On the rooftop. Bang, bang, bang. He's still in there. I'm here in the SKF. In the one. IED has team killed uh, Slev. Thin Bones with the TK there. Yeah, two down. I don't think he was aware of the distance that the Brits were at. Raf gets shot through the hole here. And it's all anyone can do, just to basically find a murder hole and start shooting things. Fluffs goes down. I got you. More dead here. That fire team is evaporated. It's just for old milkman by himself. Project uh, Prophet Brahamid sitting in a door. They're all Milkman gets a kill. Would you say that they're at this thing toward the east? Romanor yeah, kills up, uh, like Wrath so here. Milkman's yeah, still no, making some okay. sound this SKS, so he's still, uh, here. Meanwhile, yeah, over yeah, here yeah, on yeah, the, yeah, uh, west yeah, side, yeah, Dwarf's yeah, moved up to the main yeah, highway. Yeah, <clears throat> if the British break out north here, that's bad news, but Fulcrum it's Northwest not helping their cause. I'm thinking the Brits are gonna start moving east here. And trying to collapse on the main building. Immediately northwest of you, second floor. Let me smoke this, uh... hey, Flass guys, and Walrus and Thicker have a nice. great position on There's this rooftop here. The street, yeah. From us oh, fuck. to our, to oh, our zero east. three eight. Yeah. And to well, our zero seven. Yep, this alley right zero here. Zero three eight and zero. 
Surge gets hit with the grenade. Even though Flicker tried to get out of there, Storm also gets hit with it. That grenade bounced. On the roof as well. And Flicker made a crazy. Uh, Oh, a car gets shot by a Revy. If you can try and help him. Try, at least try and cover Revy him. retreats back up into the window sure. here. Or he actually has a stare. He's gonna toss a grenade. Underhanded lob. Not gonna have the distance. He's gonna be disappointed when he sees that on the stream later. Alright, I guess. Whatever. Let's go. Help group. Let's see here. We're gonna go back to the east. Roman Orc just got hit. And he falls back to safety. Hmm. Raph and Young Savage gonna try to run around and hit Milkman in position. Meanwhile, TYTY has set up an a MMG. You can just shooting at movement, anything he sees. Is that a grenade? Close frag. That was a pretty good throw. Thin bones? Question mark? Probably thin bones. No, not thin bones. It's way too far away. I wonder what that was. Flicker taking some shots. <clears throat> Dorf wants to break out of his position. He's getting kind of antsy sitting there with this whole squad. One of the bulldogs that still has ammo is starting to make moves forward here. I think the other bulldog's I'm out of ammo. Like, oh, fuck. Oh, good shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Right on top of us. That's too close. Flicker congratulating his uh, teammate there for getting a kill gets domed in return by Hedda. Jason building to the east. If you guys could make your way towards me for a little bit, there's a little less forces over here if you guys want to migrate west. So, Silent wants everyone to, uh, sort of shift west here. <clears throat> Makes sense, but if Dorf wants to push north, I mean... Maybe the numbers make sense here. Yeah, 19 kills for Brits, 12 for INS. That's not taking into account TKs, of which I think INS have had two. Any mines? Oh, mine? Yeah, Bartok and Frost just died. And the Bulldog... I don't know why that didn't go off, but the Bulldog has been tracked... ...in both... And why is Pockets... Wait... Why is, uh... Why is there a crewman? I didn't think they needed crewman for the... for the Bulldog. We need to start moving towards squad lead. There's close over here as well. well, I guess Pockets can try to repair it. I might have to respawn off the board eye. Got one nag. <clears throat> this is still a pretty good position for the Bulldog to be in. Screw it's... It. Hey squad lead, I'm gonna rearm off the Bulldog. 9S might have a chance to, uh... Rearm here. Or 9S might have a chance to snipe some uh, British soldiers trying to rearm, but I don't think they have really good positions. Uh, INS have reorganized their defense a little bit. This squad that was watching the road directly north of Dorf has shifted east. Yeah, I have These guys are right here are still stuck. Revy and a couple of guys in his fire team are stuck right here in this building. They're going to be uh, slowly overrun as the round moves on. There's really a lot of... I mean, these guys are doing okay. They're holding buildings. One squad made it out. Fulcrum got his squad out. And they're going to try to link up with Dorf over here in the north. See if they can't push in. Raf has a fire team. He's making slow progress up this east side. Yeah, I pegged him too. Roman Orc Medic. 
Just peeking out of a building. Not much to see right now, but don't get shot is actually really close. He's holding the uh, close staircase here, and Seneca, I think, is... Uh, Seneca and Roman, I think, might try to get up here. Here, that building right there. Oh, Seneca gets domed! Yep. Gets his head leveled. Could have been Dashby. Yeah, so we got fire teams, Bravo and Charlie. A is more of a command element of a squad. You say you got C here, it stands for Charlie. The double chevrons means he's a fire team leader. I think the Bulldog just got a couple more kills. We have a dish Kentucky right here, ben. Maybe, I don't know. Oh! Well, he ain't get any more. That was bound to happen eventually. NC Hill. NC Hill responsible for that uh, shot on a stationary target. And there it goes. All the Bulldog advantage is gone. He's on the second floor. He's got a light. Command, you want us all sweeping west to east? Currently, I have myself plus two south of the hideout. All right. All right, guys, we're all going to cross. Dwarf's going to go north. That's it. This grid first. I have a feeling it's going to cross the road because there's enemies across the road. Sounds like they're pretty close. We need to clear that high. The neighbor is just to the northeast. Logic marks that first because that's where the district was. Yo, I got Hedda's in this building. Directly north, or uh, directly yeah, above good. Storm here. Hedda must directly be listening east, to all right. these guys. Don't Take get shot east, making well. some more kills here. He falls back inside of his building. He's trying to shoot through the, uh, the window shades here. D Leak and Thin Bones also causing Storm. Oh, Phoenix is just gonna run out here. Dealey gets yep, winged Storm by a round. On the road, north side of the road. I don't think he knows that he's about ready to get shot in the side here. Phoenix is making his way. Phoenix making his way through. Does he have any recover? Yeah, Ishmi and Dashby, possibly Wolfgang, might see Phoenix trying to make this kill. Storm watch. If they're elevated, they can see you before you see them. You'd have gotten lit the fuck up too, though, you know? Yeah. And I don't think that's gonna happen. D-League falls back to hard cover around the corner. And Phoenix and Storm make it out with their, uh, lives there. I think Storm ch fancies his chances to get up. AR takes us. Maybe... Hold on, Lex hold was on. in that window right there? Mm, this, yeah, I don't know. I got lit up. Meanwhile... Wait, this dwarf actually made it across? No. Dwarf died? No, dwarf's still alive here. Uh, he's making a move on Revy's building, or the building next to Revy. Ooh, NC Hill. NC Hill kills Rathus guy's chap. Is he gonna get dwarf? Oh, someone over there died. Command reiterating. We think their hideout is. Is the second floor? The T building in front of us, which is east. So too. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Pee. I don't even want to. Scott. Just so you know, I have my well, plus two friendlies, and then I have three remnants of squad one. Dorf realizing Scott is just dead. Yeah, we just gotta try to keep it. Dorf is sad. Could be still one up here. Keep clearing this. Yeah. Uh, NC Hill just tried to make a rocket shot, and it did not arm. At least that's what I thought I heard. Thought I heard. Oddball gets winged by NC Hill. This is a bad position. They need to bypass this building. There's really no way for them to do it though. But they are doing it. Silent's leading a bunch of infantry. Silent has this guy dead to rights if he leaks out of their window. Oh, and Revy goes down. Revy tried to get out. He trades with command. British command is down. 
Yo, down the road east. Down the road east. Yeah. NC Hill now down here down by himself. And uh, Brett's still out in front, but actually they're not out in front anymore. INS have evened it up. 23 to INS for 22 on British. Make that 24. Young Savage goes down to don't get shot as he tries to go up the stairs. Roman Orc barely gets hit. Charlie five, seven, or rather, that was a bear, that was a close yeah, miss. Who's got us locked down real good? He's killed probably about four of us by now. Dealey just trying to take pot shots at anyone trying to cross this road here, and uh. If you can head northwest from your. I mean, uh, the defense is pretty effective here. NC Hill is still stuck in this building. INS have pulled back all of their remaining infantry that they can back to the main defense point. So now we have, looks like seven on the main, eight on the main defense point, and for some reason Geist is in the uh, the transport taggy. I don't know why, but there's a player in the technical. That can't be right. Got it. Simple. Storm trying to take some pot shots yeah, at that guy uh, can... Dashby and uh, oh, there's Wolfgang gets destroyed. Fuck. All right, pull, pull 360. Stand back. Phoenix is gonna try to pick up pieces of a plane here. All right, everyone with me, listen up. We're gonna punch east across this road. We need to be able to cut off the line of sight from the guy from the northwest. Okay. Just so gotta go east, east side of that building. Then we're gonna go north. Right across this. Yeah. What hey. Hey, my squad is my squad's in the Hey, NC Hill actually fell tight. back. If That's kind of impressive. Considering the compound that NC Hill was in, he was a here. So that means he had to basically jump the window. Siri just activated? Why? Why? Go away. Hey Phoenix, I had a guy who was AFA with command comms. I have them now. Got everything. Alright, so Oh, so there's a squad that needed command comms and you didn't get it. Big oof. Raf now in command of the element, I believe. Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, they're just recreating the incident. They're recreating the, the situation from round one, except for they have a little bit more men when they're crossing the road here. Are these guys going to cross the road too? Why not just start clearing the building? Or something. You're on the, you're on the, you hit, oh, NC, what is NC Hill doing? NC Hill's watching. Maybe he heard word that they crossed the road. British are kind of spread out here. And, uh... <clears throat> and here comes Dorf now swinging back in. wonder what Wolfgang can see from up here. Wolfgang is still watching us south, so he missed these guys run across the street. This compound to our west, they're going to try to get eyes on in a position, then we're going to try to infill through the eastern side. Do we think radio's in here? We think so. Lex gets, uh, tapped down through the window here. Good job on the guy's uh, dwarf left behind. And then call it out. Oh yeah. Just call it quick. Call it out while you're shooting. We're just down three over here now. I'm gonna move up one pillar here. Because I don't like being in this alleyway. NC Hill gets uh, tapped trying to watch the road. Dorf is now revealed that he is in Second the building. Right here. 
right at Charlie Zombie. 587 to your direct west. Southeast, second floor. Where that floor. building is mangled. What well, bearing? What floor? Direct southeast. I no floor, but they're right at where the fucking crazy I'm gonna try it out. Fire. Yep. Ishmi tries to take a peek and gets hit. I don't know if that body fall. No, he didn't I fall. I saw a body fall. Oh, I just shot at somebody. Now it's kind of slowed down. 24 to 26. INS oh, with the upper up. hand. What is Groot doing on the roof here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, southeast. Uh, one Groot uh, still living. INS so do have the numbers TV. here. Let's double check. Right, Four and five and three. And Groot is almost about to make it one less. He has a bandage though. Phoenix has three guys. They're moving in. He just dropped from the staircase. 255. Close. 255. So they probably heard Dashby there. Ishmi Bro, also. Sorry, back up, back up. Watch out, we got contacts. Oh, wait, no, there's friendly. Never mind, never mind. Oh, and the grenade, well thrown, actually takes down Dashby. Push with you, or Dashby there. Push. Context moving Push. southwest, south of the building. They're in the alleyway, moving west. Five, they're south of the building. Wait, is D-Link just sitting there? d -Link just sitting there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ishmi down inside the building. Phoenix is just going in and barreling over these people. Phoenix, another kill on Zaki. Phoenix gets shot down by uh, Chase's cool and Geist goes down as well. I need to bandage. Me too. Braff and Roman Orc need to bandage. Rowan is a uh, medic here. Anyone hear these bandages? Anyone upstairs? I'm not sure if I got them in the doorway here. Grenade. Nade, 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 Watch nade, nade. Raph gets killed by the frag ready. of the grenade. The assault goes pear shaped. Brits still have eight men outside the compound. It's just it's Roman Orc inside. Two. Watching over Two the camera. I see the radio. Oh, six. Shit. Is that it? Roman has the radio I inside? I see the radio, lads. Five, if you can hear me, I see the radio. It's directly to my south here. Just outside of local. Five, I have a friendly to your west. I'm inside the building here. Yeah, Do I not see you, shoot. I see you. Okay, I got a radio directly to my south on top of the building but next to the sandbags. Copy. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Dealey gets a kill. And, uh, Sec is actually in here. Actually, I think he put a bullet into Chase's cool. Oh, he's on the rooftop, Sec. He's on the yeah, rooftop. Boss. This is really dirty. Look at how everyone else is positioned. INS is positioned to watch these guys come up the roof and get baited onto the point to try to dig it down. JKR goes bleeding, down. Bleeding. Brits oh, are God. losing. Men yeah, left and right. East, east, soldier. But D-Leak is dead. Yep, they're east. Wolfgang There's is on, on the roof, roof here. Got his pinned down. Uh, can I make it back to you? <laughs> yeah, you can yeah, probably, if you, if you crouch and sprint, you can definitely. You only got, he only got a split second to read. shoot you. If you do that, he's definitely gonna shoot you. Yeah, yeah that was a bad idea. Okay, I'm coming. Hedda and Thinbones are still alive over here, I think. Don't get shot now, starting to shoot people. Sec that goes down. And Brits have a bad position here. They're down to a five. INS down to four. Getting pretty even here as we get to the end, but INS have the superior positions on the radio. What are the Brits going to do? They're going to clear all of these buildings or are they going to try to just outshoot these guys? It's kind of a rough situation here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. Five Brits, four. Four INS. Don't get shot, kills Nashville in a building. Looking through the window, down to three Brit, down to four Brits. Ooh, a grenade. Don't get shot, can't get away from it. What a throw by Groot. 
Is Wolfgang gonna peer up and look over? Does he know that Donkey Shot is dead? Guys, I got the AR, I got the AR. Wolfgang hey, takes a <laughs> takes a shot at Groot and gets away. Wolfgang turns his attention back to the targets over here, and Salty Toast gets uh, gets tagged. Liberal, liberal. I need a right here. I'm in here. Groot is bleeding out. To me, I need a bandage. Lib, to the rescue. With the clutch bandage and heal. Four. There's two medics up. That's actually kind of insane. That's so crazy. There's two medics up for our British. Down to three INS here. And they're pretty they're pretty uh they're pretty set apart here. The uh the thin bones doesn't have eyes on the objective. Is there a bomb on the objective? No. So it's just Hedda and Folk uh, and uh, and Wolfgang watching the objective here. Wolfgang has the better shot. We're pushing towards it. Wolfgang on the rooftop of that takes building. a peek. Yeah. They know Wolfgang's oh, up God, there. Here. There you go. Could, is, is anybody else left with you? The South. radio's on the top uh, yeah, level. Yeah. We got a friend in southeast. Through. Do we know where the radio is? Yeah, Are they going to try to get up here? Building, top floor. Construction building. There, however, there I don't, are guys up can, there. can they use the fire There's escape? Building on me. Okay. Or the scaffolding? It's not a fire yeah. escape. What am I... Wolfgang able oh, to communicate? I got smoke. Yep. Uh... Hedda still has command comms because he's a squad lead. I got two squads. They're going to use the scaffolding. Right. Yeah, might Hedda might be able to get a kill. Spray the pre-fired the building. I'm looking for another I mean, way. Wait, 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 wait. Hedda's looking. He still on, has... Um, uh, he still has his gun out. Or he still has his binox out. I'm going to stay a level below you. So if you get shot, they won't catch me by surprise. Copy, copy, copy. Oh god, oh god. Shots, oh shots, god. shots. Southwest. Get down. Oh, that came from the west. That came from the west. Damn And, yep. That's it. Oh, yeah, We're evened up the... here. You must got Dude, you've saved me here. so many times. God. I know. I still got five bandages. Nice, nice. Groot's trying to find a way to shoot Wolfgang here. Wolfgang's taking a peek. So, is there anybody in this building or not? Ooh, like does Groot have an angle on this? If, yeah, if, uh, it's the radio Wolf... building from what I, from squad. Does he have an angle on this? Before they got there shot. he goes! Oh, there goes Wolfgang. Oh, we just lost him. No? Copy. You got that sniper? So we can move up yeah. this now? No, 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 no. He got the sniper on top, but not to our way. Oh, shit. Hedda, the only one down. Thin Bones is now making a move we'll here. I think he's going to try to find another roof he can look at the objective at. What, is he going to rearm? He's going to rearm. He's a raider, isn't he? No, he's a scout. He goes ahead. He only has a... He only has a scorpion. At this range, not going to do a lot of damage, but it could still be annoying. He find, He's going to make his way through the building here and get up on the high roof. More eyes on target. Could keep INS in this game. Going on about 45 minutes from live. Right, I'm going. And here we go, Salty Toast. He's going to make a run up. They threw smoke on the roof. I'm got, it's clear, Salty clear Toast and Grub are going to make a chance to get up here. Oh, God, Who's his lip down. shooting at? Ooh, Wait. Are these friendly firing? No, there's no way. <laughs> we Maybe I'm hearing the scorp- was that the scorpion firing? Hey, radio's not up, down, but we're down, taking down. a lot of fire from the southwest. Do they, uh... C5, hold on. Who are you? Where'd you come from? C576. Lip could probably see it from there. That's where the fire's coming from, so we'll try to come by. Am I allowed to put down Bravo marks? Is that allowed? No. 
No marking. Copy. Copy. Stop. Copy, copy, copy. I'm just gonna like fire down, off the roof. They didn't see him because I don't they're die, they're too scared to try to finish. double peek Hedda here. I mean, do you oh here we go. Salty gonna pop up and provide some suppression. <laughs> Suppress guys. <laughs> that almost okay. takes off Grub's head. So is Groot gonna try to get up on the radio here? This must be look really weird on stream. I mean, if it works, how much yeah. ammo do y'all have? Probably not a lot. And you're full autoing uh, those things. I'm just I don't know if I agree with it. Groot missing the building he needs to get into to get a roof access here. But if Groot's mission is to actually take out these snipers, he's running straight for it. Uh, these guys need to shoot. What the fuck is this thing? The dog, the dog is, the dog, oh my god. Up there somewhere. Yeah, I hear a radio. I hear. Unfortunate timing there, as the dog has decided it's it, it's time to, to start yep. barking at things. Copy that. If I die, don't follow me. They're running around Can here, and it looks like they're going to try to get up down. here on the roof and We're actually do left. it. Okay. Could work. Ooh! Ooh! Thin bones! Thin bones! Enemy 205! Second floor! So I guess head is dead. I'm sorry I missed that. Thin bones bled out. Take the radio label. It's right here. I'll cover you. And that's gonna be GG. Good job, yeah, guys! Okay. Down to four. Yeah, good job, and they do it. Fuck, man. Nice job, Groot. Incredible! Job, Groot. Incredible. We are done here for the evening.